eight inch black CDs. <laughs> Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's of the one-of-a-kind antique mall. This one being uh, the second part of the first floor and part seven overall. This is the uh, some added rooms they've made in the first floor by the entrance with the uh, lift. They were into some fiesta wear. And they also have some cast iron. I had a closer look at the cast iron because I have some some amount of them already. But uh, and in particular, I was looking at what one, the prices, but they also had some different shapes. They weren't particularly bad in price. I picked mine up quite a while ago, so I got a much better price at that time, but that that one was quite different. <coughs> Some LPs, toys, and here we have some other recorded materials and comics. Glassware and art, some ceramics or porcelain. Glassware in this one, some a little more, more in the line of vintage rather than antique. Some repurposing of of some, or they're brand new made, but they look a lot like uh, propellers for an aircraft. There's some mailboxes there. Some ephemera there, and as art. Some toys or similar. Again, some toys in this one. Uh, oh, jewelry. Some live edge board. There's a few of these um, booths. I'm not sure if they're all the same or they're actually different vendors. And then we have a number of glass cases. These are found on many of the floors, in fact. Um, each vendor having their own choice of what they're placing inside. Look like comics and magazines. models as well. Some some signage at this one. 
and I think these are the supplies that they are selling at this booth for refinishing of uh, items. There's some vintage dress up. <clears throat> evening wear um, and we move along to some other books a selection of of interesting other items here this location it's a bit of a hallway section which has other things some more books in this booth and some china and ceramic ware in the center of it. These are basically overviews of each of the booths uh, on the first floor. Some VHS tapes even. Considering the, the location is over 100,000 square feet and there's a number of different vendors, there's a lot to look at. There's some recorded materials, LPs, DVDs, CDs, and that particular one, some more of that kind of item, some more vintage clothing. think these were men's so we didn't get any further into that I'd be looking for Hawaiian shirts of course now well, that's an interesting shirt although it was more of a, a theme shirt Decor, ceramics, china, porcelain, glass. You'll find these in a number of them. A number of the booths. You won't find the same thing in, very often in more than one booth. You'll find similar, but not usually the same. Some interesting cases with uh, the glass, ceramic, and porcelain items. Yeah, it, was, it was fairly busy on the day I was uh, at the location, and I was trying to avoid people. So sometimes I'd get the entire booth, sometimes I got three quarters of it, other times I Swung around by the time they I finished coming around they had left so I could go back so it may have some overlapping sections as well 
Oh, some interesting things on the upper shelves as well. Some of this was faux ladders. Jewelry, some trading cards. Figurines, toys. There's a lot to see. It's a question of what catches your eye. In this particular one, I'm just trying to get through to show you all of the booths that are there at this particular date that I'm doing this. As uh, I get reminded by the the proprietors, these uh, are in total flux. There's some Pyrex coffee pots there. Some more Fiesta ware as well. There's some Pyrex cooking dishes. Some more of them there. The um, There are changes to who are in the booths and what the vendors have in their booths at the time and each visit is going to be different. So if you've been there, unless you've gone through the place all in one day, which is highly unlikely to be able to see everything in the one day, I, I recommend two to three days to do an intensive search through the, through the whole facility. And if you go near the beginning of the month, you will see the same ones in the whole, all the same vendors throughout the whole building. If your visits are from one month to another, to another month, you may have to restart some of it. Yes, there will be a huge overlap from previous visits, but there will be substantial changes um, even within the existing booth holders and seeing that there are changes from to new booth holders now here's a collection of ephemera they've nicely cardboarded and sealed them up they were primarily maps, if I remember right, but they may have been advertising from magazines. Here's a, a vendor with uh, all kinds of uh, toy cars, like Hot Wheels, uh, Matchbox, um, some other larger ones as well. Durango, I think it was one of the brands, as I, as I remember. It's not one of my specialty areas, so I, it's not... I'm not going to be for sure on that. I think this is someone who makes some of the stuff here. So there are some handicrafts around, not just antiques. Oh, there is some antiques there. That was an iris picture. Learned that one from Westwood Avenue. Kitchen decor, some signage, old plates. That one's not particularly old, that's still the style in use. A variety of objects.
Oh. Beige rotary phone. Selection of older um, beverage containers, beer and soft drink. There's some ephemera here. Old brochures, booklets, comics. There was a booth with uh, uh, Live Edge that I saw a glimpse of there as well. Glassware, furniture, baseball caps. This looks like it's right at the entrance by the lift again. One of the other smaller rooms. There's some clothing in this one. Toys. Well, I see a Coleman lamp there too. Some older toys, and I suspect that's a faux um, outhouse door, but that's to be determined by the next one who has it. There was a couple of scales there. Balance beam type. Vintage clothing, hats, art, furniture, glassware, other decor items. you find here usually if it's something you're looking for that you're de a dead dead set having there's a good chance you'll find it and if you don't know where to start looking ask ask the folks at the front counter they might steer you to the correct floor and some of the folks who are on that floor would have a pretty good idea of what's available and its specific location. If it's too, gener too general as a, um, a request, well, you're more likely to just be best to just wander around. Whereas if you've got a very specific, they may not know exactly the item that you're looking for, but they may know the kind of things they're, you're looking for and know where to find them. So there's, it's worth asking the staff. seen the post type mailboxes in a long time. Coca-Cola cooler there. Now we're heading up to the end of this particular video and it's not the end of the first floor. Yes, 
milk glass here. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you could give us a subscribe and a thumbs up, it'd be appreciated. Maybe even a tinkle on the bell so you can uh, be notified of the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.